is your daily uh, for April 18th. Yeah, is it April 18th? Yeah, <laughs> 2021. Yeah, whatever day it is, this is your daily for that day. <laughs> it's general. It's not going to resonate with everyone, and that's okay. It's not for any particular sign. It's not for any particular area of life. I trust that whatever message needs to come out today for whoever may need to hear it um, will be the one that comes out and will be the people or person that hears it. All right. I hope these messages find everyone in good health and good wealth and good spirits. I thank my guides, my guardians, my ancestors, and most of all, most importantly, my creator. Also, any lesser deities that do choose to come forward and help me with these messages for you today, uh, right away. And this is kind of like a real shit message, but yeah, I don't know. I'm going to say it here. Um, you need to kind of look at the way you are judging other people's lifestyles, the way you may be judging or perceiving other people's um, religions and or practices. Um that's coming out really, really strong. So I'm just going to leave it there. Three of swords. Let's, whew, what a way to start the reading, huh? Sorrow, heartache. Could be breakups. Not necessarily. Could just be big lessons. Oh my goodness. Okay. So We've got a resurrection happening. We've got looking at the heart space. We've got a time of strength um, in this vulnerable state, a time to heal, a time to be reborn. Um, wow. <laughs> so that's those are some pretty powerful cards to come out of the first cards. Mm. Someone may be going through a breakup. Someone may be going through a literal burial, a death. Um Brighter days will come, that's for sure. With, you know, in and out with the strength card there. There's some injustice. There's some, there's someone here is caught up on something that doesn't seem correct in the heart. Like, no matter how many things I'm presented with, no matter what's happening here, I, it doesn't sit well in my heart. Okay, if this is, uh, someone could be going through some, some legal issues right now. It's a, it's a huge burden. This is a huge stress for whoever may be dealing with this issue. Um, we may actually do two spreads today because this one is super doom and gloom i'm sorry that is just what is coming out okay again you've got the you may be very well dealing with a breakup or a divorce um and there may be a reconcile for some of you for some of you it it looks like it's going to be a reconcile and then it's a failed attempt this may be even someone had a dream that someone actually wasn't gone. And when they woke up, all they wanted to do was go back to sleep. Um, that's really sad. I'm so sorry. Um, whew. I kind of want to cut this and do a different read, but this is the second take already because this pretty much came out the first time. Hmm. Someone is hurting so bad that they, they feel alone. They feel single. They're hurting so bad right now. I understand. They don't feel like they can go on. They don't feel like it's worth it. They feel deceived. Um, they feel betrayed. They don't know what to do. They feel like they want to walk away from everything. They feel like everything has walked away from them. Um, they may not know how they're going to be able to pay their bills. They may feel really, really hopeless right now. But, I mean, do rest assured. Keep your head up. You are going through something quite trying. Uh, we're, not gonna, we're not going to downplay that for sure. But... Um, these events are faded and the wheel does turn. It does look like it turns in your favor. We do regain some balance and some truth. Um, whether it is just an injustice that you feel has been done to you or an injustice in the, in the actual law, you know, um, an actual, actual legal matters, um, a divorce or anything like that, or even just what, whatever the legal matters may be. I say divorce or separation because I mean, you started out with the three of swords, You've got the Hierophant over here as well. 
as the three of pentacles. Hmm. I'm looking at someone that's really questioning uh, their faith. I'm hearing losing my religion. I'm here and I'm, I'm also seeing someone on the opposite side of that that has been hit so hard that they have no choice but to cling to their faith and their religion. No wonder that message came out uh, before we pulled any cards. Hmm. Well, I'm, I'm hearing you can't turn away from who you are forever. Wow. Someone is truly, truly gifted here. I mean, seriously gifted. And they have hit it away from the world. They've even hit it away from themselves. It's not like you have to go boasting who you are and what you believe in and what you're capable of, for sure, right? These things are, they're sacred to you. And if you choose to share them with the world, I mean, that's amazing. But if you choose to keep them to yourself, also equally amazing. Um, in this particular instance, though, we, we are looking at a person who is truly gifted and has not felt like they're able or allowed to share those gifts with the world. And now they are put in a situation or a spot where they can see things more clearly. And it's only through that space of sorrow and pain and connecting to the other side through that loss and through those losses. It's coming through as many, but they all hit as one. Take it as it resonates. Um, this person or whoever this may, re may be resonating with these people um, are now kind of faced with who they truly are and what they're truly capable of and not giving a care in the world of what that may look like to the outside that doesn't understand these types of practices and spiritual gifts. Because if there was ever a time to go talk to your God and have a serious conversation, baby, it is now. It is right now. I mean, this is, this is that time where you, you know, you you put your big girl panties on, you put your big boy shorts on, and you march in there and, and you have a, a word with your parent, with your creator. I I need some answers. And 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 I don't need the middlemen. I know who I am, I know what I am, and I know who you are. I know where I come from, and I need some answers. Wow, this is so powerful. I didn't it is what it is. I didn't want to get like this deep, but it is what it is, y'all. Amazing energy. Um, you know, this is someone really taking on that warrior, that warrior energy, that warrior spirit. They're walking. Um, well, they, they, they don't have a choice. I mean, they do. This person, this is a lot of turmoil. This is a lot of turmoil. This is a lot of unfairness. This is a lot of injustice. This is a lot of pain. This is a lot of uh, tearing away or having things torn away from you. Um, this person could easily crumble. This person could easily crumble, but they're just not built that way. Mm. Okay. I'm going to cut it there. Um, this is absolutely beautiful. Keep doing you if this is resonating with you. Never be ashamed of who you are and what you believe in or any practices you may hold. And like I said, now is that time to go talk to your creator, to your God, and uh, hold your practices. Um, be confident in what you are doing. I'm just going to leave that there. I'm going to cut this and we're going to come back and we're going to try to get a more lighthearted message for the daily. I love you all so much. Thank you for being here with me and I will see you next time. I'll see you in a minute, actually.